So highlight is an instance that we can apply to any other instance that's rendered in the 3D world, for example this part right here. And what a highlight does, it gives a visual effect in the form of an overlay on the instance and also a border. And to add a highlight to something, you just add a highlight instance right there. So you can see that this part has a white outline and a red fill. And now about the properties. The depth mode I will show in a bit. You have your usual enable disable. And there is the fill color. And you set the fill color as any other color you would do in the engine. Then you have the fill transparency. If the fill transparency is set to 0.5, you can still see material on the part. I could change this one to, let's say, ground, right? And you would be able to see it like so. But if I change the fill transparency to zero, you can see that the color overtakes the material. Then you have the name of the instance and an outline color. And it's also your usual color. And you can also add transparency to the outline with the outline transparency property. And about the depth mode, you have two options. You have always on top and occluded. What the always on top does, if I put, let's say, a wall right here and move this part behind the wall, you will be able to see the part highlighted like so. I'm going to make it a bit thinner. So it's always going to show the highlight, no matter if the object is behind something or not. But if I change the depth mode to occluded, you can see that now there is an extra edge right here on where the part is not being visible from and the rest is basically hidden. So I could duplicate this wall and also move it like so. And it's going to create another edge right here. So that's the basics of a highlight. And like I said previously, you can apply the highlight to instances that are rendered in 3D world. So even if I added like a character, let's say I'm going to insert my own, I can also add a highlight to it right there. And I can change the fill transparency, the fill color, as well as the outline color as well. And you can see that my character is being highlighted right here. And now I'm going to change the mode to occluded. And you can see that the highlight is only visible if you don't have anything in the way. But now there is a question of what if our character moves. So I can add a highlight at runtime 2. And right now I need to deselect my character. And you can see that it's being highlighted even if the animation is playing or I'm just moving around. I need to disable the collision on this part. And now I'm going to be able to move my camera. So yeah, I am basically behind the wall right here. And just changing any of the properties right here also works. And I even have this dummy model right here, which is playing an animation where this character is a rigged avatar, which has an armature and the animation was also made in Blender and he's also made out of mesh parts. So adding a highlight to him is still going to work, even if I move him behind the wall right there. So he's going to be playing the animation while also being highlighted. And the thing to note about the highlights is that a client can only render 31 highlights at once. Highlight instances that is, so you can't put more than 31 highlights inside of the workspace. And if you need to read about anything else from this documentation, I'm going to leave the link to it in the description. But yeah guys, if you like these tutorials on simpler stuff that are made in more short form, you can leave a like under this video. But that's going to be everything for today, so thank you guys for watching and see ya!